What changes have been made recently to Microsoft's SC900 exam and how would they impact you if you intend to do this exam? Hello, I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. So Microsoft's SC range of exams, all about security, compliance and identity across cloud-based and related Microsoft services. So we're talking here about Microsoft 365, we're talking about Microsoft Azure. Now, the 900 range of exams are fundamentals exams. So we've got AZ900, DP900, SC900. So these are ones which you can start to familiarise yourself with the concepts behind the particular range of exams, in this case, security, compliance and identity. As you'll see from my course, it requires not too much study to get the concepts. You will require some practice around it if you want to do the exams. So this particular exam, I have around six hours of videos in my course. So let's have a look at the broad categorizations that are measured in the SC900. First of all, we've got the concepts of security, compliance and identity. So this was 5 to 10%. It's now gone up to 10 to 15%. We've got the capabilities of Microsoft Identity and Access Management Solutions. That's unchanged at around a quarter of the exam. Microsoft Security Solutions, that is worth 25 to 30%. It used to be 30 to 35%, so that's gone fractionally down. And part of that is the removal of an entire big topic. And then Microsoft Compliance Solutions, which is around a quarter of the exam. Now, if I click on Download Exam Skills outline, we can see here the detail. Now, at the beginning, we have the current version, and then later on, we have got the changes in a table and the previous study guide. And if you just go down to that table, you can see that it looks like it's a huge number of changes. And there are more changes than normal in this particular exam update. However, a lot of them are tweaking of the individual topics or moving topics from one section to another. Overall, this is a simplification of the exam in terms of the number of topics which are being tested. A lot of topics now simply are not there. So this is the previous version. And what's no longer there is describe common threats. So if I copy this and put this on the right hand side and then this on the left hand side, you'll see that under the new version, we no longer have describe common threats. Similarly, if I go down, we've no longer got define common identity attacks, no longer there in the new version. Scrolling down under the authentication capabilities, Windows Hello for Business has gone bye bye. That's fairly ironic. Now you can see that there are some changes in terms of the orderings. For example, describe multi factor authentication is now second, but that doesn't really change anything. You can see some additional things like available in Azure AD, but then the entire topic is Azure Active Directory. So that was always implied. So out of the first section, we have lost three topics, which is describe common threats, describe common identity attacks, and one that I haven't mentioned yet, describe cloud adoption framework. From the second section about identity, we've just lost the one topic. Now we're going to the third section, which is the Microsoft Security Solutions. Now, if we start off at the security management capabilities, which is here, then you'll see that define a secure score in Microsoft Defender Cloud is no longer there. Now, now you could say that it's part of Microsoft Defender Cloud and therefore this isn't really a removal. It's just taking away some of the emphasis on secure score. Next, you can see defined security capabilities. That's unchanged. Define threat protection. That's mostly unchanged, but describe the Microsoft 365 Defender portal has now been moved into describe threat protection with Microsoft 365 Defender. Now, once that has been moved, then the rest of this section about security management capabilities has completely gone, as has describe endpoint security with Microsoft Intune. That's gone as well. 
So that's a quite a truncation right at the end. The last six topics has gone and describe secure score has now been a bit relegated. Now, when we go to the fourth section, describe the capabilities of Microsoft compliant solutions. Then you can see, first of all, this one section has been divided into two. Again, that's no major change. Then when we go into describe insider risk capabilities, then we no longer have the describe privileged access management or PAM. So you can see it stops at the describe information barriers. We no longer have the describe customer lockbox and we no longer have any of these describe the e-discovery and audit capabilities of Microsoft 365. And we also don't have describe the use of Azure resource locks. So again, a huge chunk of topics has been removed, not just from the security, but also from the compliance solutions. So if those have been removed, what has been added? Well, first of all, let's go back to the top of this, the current version updated as on April the 25th, 2022. And the first thing which has been added is describe compliance concepts. So in other words, what is compliance? Scrolling down further, we have got not just describe the benefits of Azure Active Directory roles, which was there previously, but also describe the benefit of RBAC, the role-based access control. Going down a little bit into the Microsoft Security Solutions, we have an additional describe network segmentation with Azure Virtual Nets. And then finally, and I do literally mean finally, the last item, describe Azure Purview, which is a unified data governance service. So you can see we've got a lot of simplification. So we've lost around 20 topics and here they are in summary, and we've gained only four new topics. So if you want to read this in more detail, please pause the video here. Now in my course all about SC900, I have added four additional videos to cover these topics. Now the items which are no longer being tested will be going into a bonus section towards the end. So you can learn more about security compliance and identity, even though they won't be directly asked for in the exam. It's always useful to have some wider information about the topic. Also, you should note, as it says right at the beginning, that related topics may be covered in the exam. So just because a particular topic is no longer there specifically, it does not necessarily mean that you don't need to have a bit of a wider knowledge of security, compliance and identity. So if I can help you with the SC900, then please have a look at my course on the subject and you'll find a link to this course in the description to this YouTube video. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you will get more information about the SC900 exam and maybe I'll see you in the course and hopefully you might even take the exam. Wouldn't this certification look good on your CV or resume? Thank you very much for watching this and please keep learning.